This is a NAYS training video about maintaining holdings in the New Hampshire Union Public Access Catalog, also known as NUPAC. If your library has chosen to participate in the interlibrary loan system as a Z target, meaning that your local catalog is connected directly to the ILL system for searching purposes, then none of the material in this video applies to you. On the other hand, if you are maintaining your holdings in the Union Catalog, then you will need to maintain uh, additions and deletions through one of the methods or a combination of the methods covered here. We will go over how to add, edit, and delete individual holdings, and we will talk about batch processing options for loading MARC files of additions and deletions. For today's video, we will be working as the Lilac Public Library, and I am already logged into the ILL system using the cataloging account for the Lilac Public Library. This account does not support interlibrary loan. It is strictly for use for maintaining holdings in the Union Catalog. So the first thing that you need to do to add holdings is to find the thing you want to add holdings to. You may only add holdings to records in the Union Catalog. You can't add holdings to records that belong to someone else's catalog. Um, GMILKs, for example, you can't connect to them and add holdings. So when you're searching for cataloging purposes, it's probably a good idea to limit your search just to the new pack so that you don't have to wade through records that are not relevant to you. In order to do that, we will use the um, resources link, which is this little pile of pancakes or coins or whatever this picture is supposed to be. It is the link to resources. By default, all of the library catalogs are selected as resources, and when you are working in interlibrary loan, that is absolutely what you want to have selected so that you have the best chance of finding someone to lend you materials. But when you're cataloging, you're only going to work with new packs, so there's no reason to pull back records from other places. So in order to choose new pack, I'm going to click this box to uncheck all of the other uh, catalogs and then I'm going to scroll down these are in alphabetical order and choose new pack and then once I have done that I can just go ahead and do my search or I can close the window if I want to get rid of it so I'm going to search for Sally Hirsch Dickinson's book about Peyton Place so I'm just going to put in a general keyword search for Peyton Place and I am only looking in new pack so I shouldn't get too too much and right here, this is the book that I am interested in, and I'm going to click on the link so that I can see the actual record. All of my cataloging links to add and delete holdings um, are off of this main record details page, so you need to open the actual record in order to see it. The upper portion of the display is a labeled uh, display of the key parts of the record, so you can see what the LCCN is, if it was part of a series or subjects, anything like that, if there's contents included, that sort of thing. Um, below that you will see the mark display, so if you want to check for some very particular thing, you can see the mark below um, the labeled display. When you find a record from NUPAC, there's a couple of ways we know that this record came from NUPAC. The simplest one is that it says right over here on the left, found in NUPAC. So that's a good way to verify that you found what you were after. Um, the other piece of information to consider when choosing whether a record is a good one for cataloging is this quality indicator in the display. A quality indicator of, that begins with a 9, so 9,000, 9,500, anything like that, indicates in the new pack that it is a record that came from OCLC. So that's going to be a pretty complete record and is a good choice to use when you are cataloging. So, in order to add a holding to this record, I'm going to come over here to the left-hand side, and I am going to add a location. Even though I'm adding a holding, what the system calls it is a location. So, I will add location. And that opens up this little editing window. I can only add a location for myself. So I am logged in as the Lilac Public Library. That's all that I can use. I can't add holdings as somebody else because my login um, makes it very specific who it is that I am. So I am going to put in a call number for this. And if I'm not sure what call number I want, I can close that window 
and take a look at the mark record and see what it has. So the eight the 082 here is 813.54, so that is what I'm going to use for my call number. If there were um, extensive holdings on this particular record, you would see them here, or if there were any holdings on this particular record, you would see them here, and you would have some indication of what other libraries have chosen for their call numbers, which can be useful in making a decision about your own. But I'm going to use the one from the MARC record. So I will go back, add locations, putting in my call number, 813.54, and then my library uses very simple cutters of uh, the first three letters well, actually, that should be H-I-R. should be Hirsch Dickinson. So H-I-R is going to be my cutter here. And I click Add. And that's all there is to adding a holding for this record. There is an Add New Record button here. What it actually does is it lets you add another holding to this same record. But for the purposes of the Union Catalog, there is no reason to have more than one holding on any one record for your library. Even if you have multiple copies of this book, you still only need one holding in the Union Catalog. So now that my location is added, I'm going to click Close. Now, I have some additional options here that I didn't have before. I can now edit my location and I can delete my location. I couldn't do either of those before because I didn't have one. But now that I have added one, I can edit it. I click the Edit Locations button. I choose the little radio button next to the one that I want to edit, which is probably just going to be one, but you still have to choose the radio button. And then I push click the button that says select catalog. I'm really selecting a holding, not a catalog, but that's what the button says and it couldn't be changed. So that's what it is. So let's say I decided I don't want this cutter. I don't want any cutter at all. And so I'm just going to have a call number here. So I will update the catalog. It tells me that I successfully updated and I can click OK to make that go away or just give it a minute and it will go away by itself. And then I can click out here in the gray area to make this side panel go away, which I'm going to do. Now, I will now see that my holding is here, but it still has the cutter. That's because I need to refresh my screen in order to make my change visible. I don't have to do it. It has been done. The change is made whether I see it or not. But if you want to reassure yourself that you did, in fact, make the change you thought you did, just refresh the display in your browser. And you will see that whatever change you made, so my cutter is gone now, has been made. Now, in order to delete this holding, if I decide, oh, this isn't the book I wanted at all, it's a newer edition of, of her book, I want a different one, I'm going to delete it. So I click Delete Location. I have to choose which one I want to delete. I say Delete Selected Location, and it will ask me to confirm it. Do I definitely really want to do this? If I don't, I can say Go Back, and it'll just back me out of it without having made the change. Or I can say Confirm Delete Location and my holding is now deleted. And now it says there's no location available for deletion because it's gone. So I close that window. And it is as before, It well, it isn't displaying. Sometimes it still displays, sometimes you have to refresh to make it go away. So that is all there is to adding and deleting and editing locations on an individual record. If you want to add batches of holdings at one time, you can do that in, by sending a file of MARC records once per week at most to the Autographics Upload site. If you go to the NAS training page, which you can get to from the system by clicking on the little um, NAS picture in the corner, and then go to training. And here you will find all the various handouts and forms. Um, one of the handouts is is uh, how to send files to update your new pack holdings. This handout explains exactly how you need to name your files so we will know what they are and who they're from. Um, it also explains exactly how you can do that upload and I'm going to walk through that right now. So in order to upload files you have to go to the Autographics Upload site which is at this long and bizarre looking URL. This URL is um, spelled out on the handout so you can get it from there. Once you get it I would highly recommend bookmarking it so you don't have to type it in ever again. Um, 
there is a password that is required to get to this site. When you first go to the URL, it'll just pop up a little box that says you need to put in a password. The password is also on the flyer. Okay, to add an, a file, I click on the little plus mark up here in the corner of the screen. And then I click the word upload, which appears after I do that. And it will open up my um, computer's file browser. So, the, and probably it will go to wherever you were last. So the Lilac Public Library keeps its, uh, its um, mark files in this Holdings Files folder. So to add a file, I choose the file I want. This one is an additions file. So ADD at the front, so we know it's an addition. My code, which is NHTLIL to represent the Lilac Public Library. This file was created on November 5th and it contains 67 records. So that is the, pro the uh, format for naming your files and that is all explained in detail on that uh, handout. So I choose the file that I want and I click open and my file appears and I'm done. That's all I need to do. If I wanted to add another file, like my deletions file, I can do that by clicking the button, upload, choose the file, say open, and it will appear. You are uh, welcome to load additions and deletions up to once per week. So if you have um, fewer acquisitions than warrant that, you don't have to do it that often, um, but you may not do it more than once a week because we need to make sure that we can can get all of the things in at once and a larger file less frequently is going to make sure things get in in a more timely fashion. So you may also have the option uh, or you do also have the option once a year to have an entire reload done of your holdings. In order to do that you will need to schedule an appointment to have your reload done. We will begin doing those in January of 2020 and details about that are also covered on the handout about submitting sending files for new pack holdings. If you have questions about how to add holdings to the Union Catalog, please contact the NAIS Help Desk at 603-271-2141 or send us an email at the address on your screen. If you are interested in downloading records from the system, there is a separate video that covers that material.